my tag and say, Ooh, please don't be mad at me. Ooh, I'm talking to myself. Yeah. I think that I need help. Yeah. I'm meeting up with Minnie from LA Hustle. She knows a lot about, she has a lot of family drama, and you know, we can relate on a lot of things like. Yes, half my family are from Hollywood, and the other half, they're in organized crimes. So I like to stay on the Hollywood side of things because I don't want to be locked up, you feel me? But so with all these things going on right now, I just feel like she's the most person that can relate to me. So I'm meeting up with her, and we're going to chop it up and talk about what's going on with my family. Yeah. You know, I feel like we relate, you know, like my family there, organized crime. You know what I mean? I get a call from my mom, and she's like telling me like my dad and my brother and this conspiracy and they're locked up. I'm getting so emotional right now talking to Minnie because people just don't understand the things that I go through and why I'm the way I am. And this is the main reason why I push myself and thrive as hard as I do so I don't end up like the other side of my family. It's just, it's been a lot to deal with. Like I've been dealing with this kind of stuff since I was a kid and I don't really open up about it a lot. <sighs> I'm glad she received it well and I'm glad that I got off my chest because I'm ready just to move forward. So I'm Uber 420 right now. And I'm like, let me hit up Cleo because she's always a good time. Every time I'm kicking with her, I'm always at laughing. Okay, so I'm just really so hungry. So I think we should go over here and figure out what we're about to chew on. So right now we're in Tarjay and we were supposed to get some snacks, but then we bumped into the liqueur. I hate me. You're gonna hate me. Everyone likes to that. I just hate it. Oh to the, my god. Point me to the Hennessy. Film me. Oh wow. See how I just did that ride. No way. See how that ride. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just go with this, you know what I mean? Because this is gonna get us right real quick. Okay. Usually I don't drink this unless I'm. Wine? Yeah, unless okay. you know you gotta, you gotta. Yeah. Okay. Lead into it. Slowly. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to grab me a little bottle real quick. Well, at least I'm thinking about it. So we're gonna see because you know I'm not trying to be a boozer, but I definitely need those snacks because I'm uber hungry right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She driving the IA. Mm. She sliding on highway. Mm. Lil mama come my way. Mm. Lil mama come my She's way. Riding. She asking my type. Me and Cleo and I forgot we're in the store filming. We just started laughing and dancing and walking around the store chatting and just grabbing snacks and. We're just living our own world right now. We're going to boost. So she dripped like a knife. Saw her dress. She's as drunk as she hot. She want me alone. I got to turn like a light. Bitch cross. When she mad at her man, she come and ride me like a bike. She want me to nickname her. I call her Radio Pump. I call her Radio Pump. Radio Pump. I call her Radio Pump. I call her Radio Pump. I call her Radio Pump. She in her bag. She counted my racks out. I'ma pay for her cash now. I put her in forest. Uh, she ain't got a trick 
out. Uh, she know daddy got rich now. Yeah. She know daddy got rich now. Hey. I'm not mad at it, but I need to stay focused. I need to get back to reality. I need to snap back into it and, and get back to the motion because I'm getting totally distracted in this goddamn store. So yeah, I was walking around and I saw Mason in my neighborhood stretching with a blunt in his mouth and I just had to see what the vibe is. We had recently met at a Zeus party, so I was just trying to see what was what. So today, I decided I'm gonna go stretch, go to one of my favorite Hollywood parks, and then Hollywood City and Small, Dre ended up seeing me, and I'm not mad at it, cause you know, I fuck with Dre, so I'm like, okay, cool. We got into it with a blood in our mouth. Or you know, if I'm getting spotted, at least it's by somebody I fuck with. So, you know, I'm smoking my joint, I'm stretching. He came over to have a chat with me. You know, let's have a chat, amigo. So me and Dre, I pass him the blunt, he's smoking with me. We're smoking as we're stretching, we're smoking and, and working out. And that's just the way you do it. So you can, you know, stay high and then be equipped to weed. But when, like, when you want runs, you smoke your weed and stuff like that, you feel me, you, you gotta smoke while you do it. So then you don't wanna be tired when you smoke. So I had to show him that and we did that and it was fun. It was a good time and my body feels much better after the stretch. We didn't do much stretching but we tried to do our best. We did what we could. Messy Mason, he all right. 